Welcome to Civil Guru. These tutorials are made in different languages, like English, Hindi, Tamil, and now in Arabic also. Please choose your desired language from our playlist. We try to make these tutorials in a very simple manner, so that the fresh engineers and common people can understand easily. If you like this video, please subscribe now and share it with your friends. Thank you. Hello. I'm Ryan, happy to welcome you on behalf of Civil Guru. In this episode, we will see about leveling. Most of the engineers may be knowing about leveling. However, there could be some may not be knowing. So, let us start from the beginning. Now, let us see what is mean by leveling. The earth, or the ground, is not a plain surface. It has more undulations, inclinations, and elevations. The leveling means measuring the height of this elevations from a datum line. Like horizontal measurements, elevation only has meaning when it is referred to some starting point. For building projects, the nearest road level is considered as zero level, which means that is the datum level of that building. From where every height is measured, such as the plinth level, floor level, etc. Whereas, how to measure in a project which spreads all over the country? like roads, railways, and other infrastructures. So, it is very important to fix a common one datum line for the entire country to measure the elevations of the natural ground, such as rivers, mountains, etc., and also to use that values to design and execution of infrastructure of any country. To finalize this datum level of any country, the mean sea level is considered as the datum level of that particular country, which is also known as MSL. In India, the mean sea level is fixed somewhere in the coastal of Mumbai. Now, let us see, what is mean sea level? The sea has the high tide, low tide, and also the storm tide, which is different than the normal tide. The mean sea level is the average of these varying tides. The survey department of the government, with respect to this MSL, measures the elevations of different cities all over the country, and fixed that value as benchmark permanently. This is known as permanent benchmark. Now, let us see how the leveling is carried out. Means, how these elevations are measured. An imaginary line is marked horizontally, just above the benchmark, and the height of this imaginary line from that benchmark is measured. In survey language, it is called as the backsite. Adding this backsite value with the benchmark value gives the height of that imaginary line from the mean sea level, which is called as the height of collimation. From this height of collimation, measure the depth of the any required object or the existing ground, which is called as foresight. Deduct the depth measured from the imaginary line gives the height of that object from the mean sea level. That means, from the height of collimation, reduce the foresight value, gives the reduced level of that object or existing ground. It is called as RL value of that object. Now, the million dollar question is. How to fix that imaginary line in the air, and how to measure the depth of any object from that line? There. The leveling instruments are used. The crosshair in the telescope is used to produce that imaginary line and the leveling staff is used to measure any depth from that imaginary line. You guys might have learned the basic information about the leveling. Now, let us see your example, how to record these values on the field, and how to calculate the reduced levels of any object. There are two method of calculations in practice to find out the reduced levels. One is rise and fall method, and another one is height of collimation method. Height of collimation method is most commonly used in the field. When we have many intermediate sites, like road projects, the height of collimation method is easier and faster to work out. Let us make a table to record the field measurements to calculate the reduced levels. Normally, this type of table is used in field. The benchmark value is known, it is already given as 50 meters. Now, let us take the backsite value is 0.43 meter. Adding this backsite value with benchmark value gives the height of collimation. Here, the height of collimation is 50 plus 0.43 equals 50.43 meters. 
for information. The foresight is considered as last point to record, before shifting or closing the leveling instrument. In case, if we have more points to check, then, record that values in intermediate site. Now, let us take, two intermediate site, one is 0.93, and another one is 1.13. Record that values in IS in the table. And now, we will take foresight, which is 1.43 meters. Now, let us calculate the RL value of each point. As we know, the height of collimation is 50.43 meters. The aisle of the first intermediate site is 50.43 minus 0.93 equals 49.50. The aisle of the next intermediate site is 50.43 minus 1.13 equals 49.30. And finally the RL of foresight, which was the last point is 50.43 minus 1.43 equals 49 meters. Before ending this session, let us have a look at what we have learned today. 1. Mean sea level, MSL, and datum level. 2. Benchmark, BM, and permanent benchmark. 3. Backsite, BS. 4. Intermediate site, IS. 5. Foresight, FS. 6. Height of collimation, HC. And 7. Reduced level, RL. I hope everything is clear. In case, any clarifications required, please write into the comment. We will try to explain that, as soon as possible. In next episode, we will see, how to set up the instrument, and shift the instrument to continue the survey, when it is required to continue for a long distance, such as road projects. If you really enjoy this video, please like, and subscribe. Which will encourage us, to give you better and more and share to your friends, so that, they can also enjoy. Thank you. And, goodbye, until we meet in next episode.